بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم ما يتبقى today is about mosaic pattern and small airway disease and this short talk I will deal with common and less common causes and rare causes with some examples. The essential information differenti differentiating small airway disease from vascular disease with mosaic pattern associated direct feature of, of small airway disease such as centrilobular nodules, bronchial wall thickening, and bronchiolectasis and bronchiectasis. Mosaic pattern from airway from air traveling shows diminished vascular caliber. Accentuation of mosaic pattern on expiratory scan. Pulmonary vascular disease show markedly enlarged pulmonary arteries as dominant feature. So this is how we differentiate between small airway disease from vascular disease with mosaic pattern. Head cheese sign a presence of a grand glass obesity, normal lung and air traveling. So we have a, a grand glass obesity and normal lung and air traveling giving the appearance head cheese sign. The differential diagnosis we have common causes including constrictive uh, bronchiolitis, hypersensitivity pneumonitis, cystic fibrosis, and pulmonary artery hypertension. The clues for that, constrictive bronchiolitis, classical small airway disease associated with clinical syndrome, looks like a post infectious can be bilateral and can be batchy. Sewer James syndrome or McLeod syndrome, classic distribution is unilateral disease, but it is uncommon. Rheumatoid arthritis and connect other connective tissue disease, post lung transplant, bronchiolitis, bloodstream syndrome, and a chronic graft versus host disease. Here we see in this patient with inspiration and expiration and we see here some bronchiectatic changes and the grand glass appearance and air traveling here and in the expiratory film expiratory phase the bronchiectasis is resolved and more attenuation of a grand glass appearance and air traveling, it is more prominent in this patient with a chronic, uh, sorry, with constrictive bronchiolitis. Another patient with uh, uh, constrictive bronchiolitis involving a patient with serial James syndrome or McLeod syndrome, we see unilateral involvement of the lung involving the lower lobe than the upper lobe with attenuation of the uh, of the vascular and some hyperinflation. Here, axial as high resolution CT scan. Uh, shows mosaic at pattern as we see here on the right lung and some uh, uh, decrease lung attenuation with area of ground glass obesity uh, containing normal blood vessels and 
here we see the same patient with bronchial thesis and the bronchial wall thickening and some centrilobular nodules here. Hypersensitivity pneumonitis, boldly defined centrilobular obesities or nodules with giving the appearance of head cheese sign. Here, this patient with uh, bull grand grass appearance involving the right lung and with some air driving and boldly defined here in the centrilobular nodules. Cystic fibrosis, we have extensive uh, central and other lung bronchitis and the mucus blogging in young patient. Here, this young patient with uh, grand glass obesity and the air traveling bronchitic changes with uh, wall thickening. In this patient with cystic fibrosis and mosaic pattern. Pulmonary hypertension, we have a large central pulmonary arteries. And here, this patient with pulmonary hypertension, we have axial resolution, axial high resolution CT scan with mosaic pattern from the vascular disease. There is no bronchiectasis to suggest a small airway disease and not enlarge the heart or an enlarged right sided heart. Here, another patient with a chronic pulmonary artery hypertension with mosaic perfusion with engorgement of central, uh, with engorgement of pulmonary arteries in the, in, in the area of a grand glass obesity or denser lung and attenuated on the, uh, on the low lucent area as we see here. The less common causes we have inflammatory bronchitis and the clues we have sensory lobular nodules and the tree embod appearance is more common with inflammatory bronchitis and can be acute or chronic airway infection. As we see here, grand glass obesities with centrilobular nodules and uh, air traveling and tree embodied appearance. As we see here, we see here, we see extensive diffuse tree embodied appearance in patients with inflammatory bronchitis. The rare causes we have chronic pulmonary embolism. And the patient has a peripheral filling defect with intimal irregularity or with bands or webs within the pulmonary arteries. As we see here, axial contrast enhanced CT scan, we have a partial thrombus involving the left pulmonary artery giving the appearance of obtuse angle. And we have enlargement of the bronchial arteries here, collaterals. Also, we see collaterals of the bronchial arteries uh, in this patient with the chronic pulmonary embolism. And this patient also, we have pulmonary hypertension with chronic pulmonary embolism involving the right main pulmonary artery. And this is the same patient with pulmonary hypertension and enlargement of the bronchial arteries. Here we have patient, this another patient with the chronic pulmonary embolism with mosaic appearance, and we see the 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 normal 
uh, engaged pulmonary arteries in the grand glass appearance and attenuated of the pulmonary uh, attenuated of the vasculature in the low attenuated area in this patient. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.